We've got 10 quick questions with Pete Agnew of Nazareth. This is where we ask sort of different questions. Some of them musical, some of them not so much. Here's Pete Agnew. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I, I like to, you seem like a really good sport, so I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can ask you. These are 10 questions. There's quick answers. If you want to pass, pass. But, but, but. 10 just, questions. I, 10 yeah. questions. Or, listen, you can say yes or no or pass, or you can say, but I'm, I, okay, I'm going to start. Is that okay? Yeah, well. You, you'll I'm, have, you'll, you'll love it. It'll be fun. Trust me. Right. In high school, in high school, were you known as a music guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I used to take the, the guitar to school at the end of term, entertain the troops, you know. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, known for that, definitely. Beatles or Stones or both? I, well, I was never a, I, I, this, I wasn't a big pop fan at the best of times, but the, the Stones had been, the Stones were the, 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 the person that we covered more of their songs. Than Beatles songs. I'm not surprised you said that. I, I, I you know what? I never thought of it till you answered. No, of course. I, 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 Outside of music, what are you best at? I'm sorry. Outside of music, what are you really good at? Like, can you cook? Because there's something you're really, really quite good at. I just want people to get a different side of you. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say bullshit, but I was going to say you do that. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I don't. You know the thing is. There isn't really any outside of music for me, you know. It's like it takes up my entire life. I'm very good. I'm very good at booking flights for bands. Put it that way. I'm, you do I that? Be, Are could, you the guy who does be, that? I, I could be an excellent. Yeah, because I hate travel agents because they're hopeless. So I, I, I'm, I, I do my own travel agency. I could be a travel agent. There you go. <laughs> I could be a travel agent. But did you? Did your parents get what you were doing when you got into music? Did they get it? Yeah, definitely. My, 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 my folks were very, very big music fans, you know, and, and, and they loved uh, they loved everything. I've, uh, you know, they encouraged me all the way ever since my first guitar. And yeah. Now, you know what? That, that I love hearing that because, you know, as, uh, as you can imagine, I don't get that very oh, often. I mean, my, 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 my mother thought Elvis Presley was just unbelievable. She thought that was uh, she, she liked Elvis. <laughs> Is there still someone out there that you'd like to meet, like you haven't met? Or are you even starstruck at all? Does that even e e enter your mind? Yeah, well, the, I mean, uh, no, I mean, no, really, no, no. I mean, the, the, the people that, are, that I like are, were, were writers mainly, a, a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I met P.G. O'Rourke once, and that was, that was the, big, the big thing for me. He's one of the best writers, and he just died there recently, so I'm yeah. glad I got a chance to meet him. Yeah, yeah, but if, if people might have told you, you seem really grounded, and you seem like unapologetically, you, like you're Pete Agnew. You don't have to, you know, like, there's just something, something about when I talk to you, and then, as you can imagine, I talk to someone every day, and I've been doing this 39 <laughs> years, but you seem comfortable in your skin. Well, I mean, you know, this, we, come, we, we come from a, 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 a small town here, you know, I mean, I still live, we still live in, uh, in uh, at home, you know, in, in Scotland. Yeah. I mean, Dan Dan's five minutes from me. You know, he lives in a village next door, and we've lived in these villages for since we were kids. You know, so we we're at home. Um, I mean, there was a for instance, there was a big, there was a great big thing in the local newspaper. There was a big story about me last week. They had a whole page all about, you know, the we, sh we should have been in Russia and you could, in fact, I should have been playing in Kiev tonight. We should have been playing there and we should be playing Kharkiv tomorrow and we should have just come from Russia. So there was a big story about us being in Russia and blah, blah, blah in the paper, you know, and and so in big progress. So, so where I am, I'm no big rock star here. I'm Pete Agnew. It's just in the local paper, you know. It's you know they see me in the pub, you know. So it's. Uh, I think I think fan, fans love hearing stuff like that because they you know they, they they everyone wants to know. Oh oh, people say why don't you get nervous doing interviews? I'm going well. They go to the bathroom just like I do. I mean, I just oh, love their job. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's you know, like I say, we 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 grew up. We 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 stayed in the town. That we were pretty much in the town, the villages around the town that we were yeah. born in. I mean, at the time when we were when we were hitting the sort of the high spots, if you like, oh, you should move to London and you should move to LA and you should move here and and, and to tell you the truth, 
If we had made any moves, I probably would have been Canada because, I mean, we were more comfortable there than any place else, you know. And I've got to say that uh, I've had, oh, I've had many a hangover in Toronto, I've got to say. <laughs> but then again, I've had many a hangover over in Winnipeg and Montreal and Vancouver, <laughs> Grand Prairie, you name it, Regina. Russell, um, no, no, no. <laughs> the beer is free here, my friend. Hey, have you ever, uh, uh, were you ever allowed to splurge being in Nazareth? Because, like, you know, David Pack from from uh, Player said, well, I said, yeah, I uh, bought, a, I bought a Porsche, but... Were you ever that type of guy? You got a big check and you splurred? I did. You know, you know, I was never into buying toys, but it was one time. I remember when, when I was about 14 years old, I saw this car in the, in the high street in Dunfermline. It was a Morgan. And I remember seeing this and thought, I'd love one of them. It looks so incredible. And thing. So when when we sort of hit it big, I was up in the, uh, we lived out in Isle of Man for a while. And Manny phoned me up and he said, listen, there's a Morgan, a big, a red Morgan, plus eight up in the garage up there. And I said, it's, and the guy said, they're selling it up there, it's second hand. It's only done 500 miles. And I thought, I had a look at this thing. I thought, oh, it's unbelievable. So I said to my wife, she said, buy it. She says, go and get it. She said, because you've never, you never ever bought yourself anything like that. Just go and get a toy. And I thought, ah, oh, well, why not? I'll get this thing. So I got it, and I drove it for about a year, but not very much because we were traveling a lot. Yeah. And then I damn near killed myself in it. So uh, I had done 2,500 miles, and I sold it. And that was my last, my first and last toy. And, and, and uh, I never bothered after that, you know. So, so I've never really, I've never really, really, you know, um, um, splurged on things, you know. Like, You're practical, uh, no, I tell you what, I like, I, mean, I like I like to. I mean, I live quite well. I mean, I, I like to be able to go where I like, and 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 to I mean, to to go where to, I like going to restaurants and stuff like that. But that's the kind of things that I think that I've I've, I've well, I've earned I've earned it anyway, yeah. you know. But that's the kind of things I like. I've never been, you know, one oh I must buy a I must buy a, a villa in some place, you know. It's never. Never bother me. If I'm going to go on holiday, I'll go there for a couple of weeks. I don't want to buy someplace and live there. You know, just I'll go there and come back to Scotland again. I'm completely like you. I, whatever what you just said, I, I, I that's how I live my life. Out. Um, um, oh, hold on, hold on. That's three more for you. Then I'm going to let you go, and you'll be free from me. What's the craziest thing? Uh, Actually, Nazareth- you're saying you know you know how free I'm going to be. I'm going to be free for another seven minutes because there's another interview starts at six o'clock okay. on the radio station. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really fast. Uh, what, uh, as, a, as a Nazareth fan ever done anything? Cr- what's the craziest thing a Nazareth fan has ever done? We'll stop with that one. Uh, a Nazareth fan. I think one of the, the, one of the things was a, a, a woman in, uh, in, in Russia, in Tomsk. She was a, re- a DJ in the 70s. And she got their rampant album. You got to remember that rock and roll was banned in Russia yeah. at that time. They couldn't play it on the radio or anything. She was a DJ <coughs> in a radio station <coughs> in Tom's. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, she 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 locked all the doors in the radio station. She went downstairs and locked the outside doors. She barricaded herself in. And she played the whole of the first side of the rampant album before the police managed to break down all the doors and get in and arrest her. Then she went to jail for two months. And uh, and she she I mean, we got told this while we were doing a press conference there. There were about 200 press people. They were killing themselves laughing when they told us, when the interpreters told us what she'd done, we couldn't believe it. And that was a Nazareth fan. I think that's a pretty crazy thing to do. She could have she could have easily got 10 years, you know, yeah. but she got, she got two she went to jail for us, just to, just to play us. So best, was- best story of, uh, for that question. Remember, if you want to check out the whole interview, it's on our sister site, Rock History Book. And there's links to that and the podcast of this interview as well in the description of this video. We'll have a next clip from Pete Agnew in two, three days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Also like our videos. It makes them perform a lot better. If you want to donate to the channel, you can. There's a PayPal link right in the description. But you can also buy a t-shirt. That helps us too. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.